All right, so there's the dry fit of the the inside panel. So the framework will go on top of that, and then the outside Phylon on top of the framework with just a little bit of insulation in between. So everything fits good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that back off, get the adhesive put on, and then uh, start framing it up. Just so you can see how everything fits nice and snug up underneath. <clears throat> Matches up. And then of course, with this being the, the back side of the panel, the framework comes out here and then the doors are installed um, and secured with screws into the uh, PVC framework and also butyl tape and adhesive sealant around the outside. This is an aluminum frame back here for the back wall, but this little bit of rotten luon, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that just so I'm not butting anything up against something that can hold moisture. Um, that way I can glue it directly to the aluminum frame on that side. And then of course, everything's gonna have adhesive on all of these strips here and along these strips. This is the opening for the uh, access door. And then this is will be the opening for the access door for the valves, the dump valves. All right, so I got the framework all glued down with adhesive to the fiberglass sheet. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I wanna to let this dry overnight, but I wanna put some foam pieces in these voids. Then I can come back, uh, put the last piece of Phylon on the outside and get it all installed. All right, well, it's the next morning. This is dried overnight and uh, just brought it over here to the router table. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, corners routed out so it's uh, smoothed over. These. Uh, little triangular pieces that I put in they uh, just protrude just a little bit so I'm going to take my router uh, with my uh, quarter inch flute bit and uh, a little call it there and use the panel itself to uh, as kind of as a jig to run around the edges here and that'll smooth these edges out and make them just perfectly fit for the doors get started on that. It's nice and smooth. So that door will fit perfectly. Just real quick, do a test fit. Fits well, no gaps. Mm -hmm. Everything fits well there. All right, so now that we know the doors are gonna fit uh, into the cutouts, we can go ahead and get a dry fit done on the camper just to make sure that the skirt itself is going to line up with the existing final and panel on the sidewall. So let's go ahead and do that now. And uh, after, if it does fit, uh, we can go ahead and drill our uh, holes for the initial mounting uh, also, obviously there's going to be adhesive, uh, but there's also going to be some screws going into it. So we'll go ahead and get uh, everything aligned and get the adhesive put on and then screw it to the camper. And then we can get our outside Phylon panel put on and uh, get that, that panel lined up to the existing exterior Phylon panel that's on the upper sidewall. I almost forgot. I want to go ahead and get the uh, foam insulation cut just that three quarter inch uh, foam board cut for these uh, voids on the uh, skirt itself and get those glued in so this step uh, putting the insulation in these voids here it's not really necessary my holding tanks are going to be behind this uh, skirt so i want to make sure that there's enough insulation in there to hold the heat in it is a heated compartment i have a vent uh, coming down from my furnace so when I'm camping in cold temperatures, the furnace won't have to work as hard to keep that compartment 
uh, warm enough so the tanks don't freeze. So just a little bit. It'll also help with uh, delamination. It's more glue uh, surface area, so I can spray glue right across the uh, foam insulation board, and it'll give that Phylon just more surface area to adhere to and less chance of it uh, pulling apart in the future. All right, so I have all the foam pieces cut and dry fit. I'm gonna go ahead and get my spray adhesive. I'm just using some tight bond spray adhesive and I'll get these glued in to the uh, fiberglass panel on the backside. All right, there's the skirt insulated and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get the dry fit put on the camper. And if everything fits well, I'll drill my holes um, on those. Uh, over here on the camper, there's the existing, the old skirt was mounted uh, to these uh, little wood studs here that go through. Uh, I'm going to mount it the same way. And then obviously all around the tub for the uh, waste tanks. All right, so we've got a dry fit. Everything looks good. It lines up nice. got room for the screws to pull that in just a little bit on the bottom there but everything lines up the way it should everything fits good up in there all the way up Alright, so I'll go ahead and get the adhesive on here and uh, get it stuck on, get my holes drilled. This is the, the kind of the camper shoulder well. This is that area that I just replaced up in here. So, the, and this was that last piece that I wanted to wait to put on until I got the new skirt on. So here we are. Um, and you can see why I wanted to do fiberglass back here and not how they originally did it with just that paper backing. This is all exposed to the elements when you're out on the road driving through the rain. It's just getting hammered by water. And uh, uh, these are the first things to go on most campers are these skirts. Water gets in there and it just rots that wood. So, of course, I'm composite and fiberglass all the way up the whole panel. Got some one and five eighths inch stainless steel screws and I've got my holes drilled and uh, countersunk uh, all the way down and of course there's going to be adhesive on every cross member uh, and on the top there'll be adhesive um, so when it, it goes in uh, the screws will basically clamp it to the adhesive screws that go in through the back panel here that'll uh, secure from the from the back wall to the side skirt. I'm going to be using these uh, three inch coated screws. Uh, a little bit beefier than the ones that were in there and of course the ones that were in there before were not coated so these will have a little bit better uh, durability. All right, got my stainless steel screws. All these fasteners put in and of course there's adhesive back below uh, behind it I mean now I can go from the back side I can go uh, from the uh, tub enclosure for the waste tanks into the fiberglass here to suck that up and then of course once the uh, phylon the outer uh, phylon skin is put on, glued on. Uh, I can go along this edge and then all around the bottom some uh, Dacor sealant. I uh, purchased all new stainless steel hardware so these are the screws that are going to fasten the waste tank tub, uh, enclosure tub, to the uh, side skirt from the back side. So this, with this stuff and most of these spray adhesives, you spray both uh, sides of the substrate. So you, I'll spray uh, the PVC skirt and then also the back side of the uh, phylon, the old phylon that I pulled off and cleaned up. So 
spray you know a good coat on both sides uh, and let it set for about uh, five to ten minutes and it'll kind of tack up a little bit and then you can make your bond you don't have a whole lot of time to move it around after that initial bond is made so make sure that you get your parts lined up uh, how they need to be uh, before you actually start to uh, put pressure on that bond there's the back side of the phylon sprayed with adhesive and then I did two coats on this side just so I could get everything really well I'm letting it dry for about 10 minutes before I make my bond and just be really careful when you're laying this up because you only really get one chance at this line it up really perfectly at the top You can just use an old rolling pin, or if you have a J roller, you can use a J roller. All right, so the bond has been made. Everything lines up. I get my doors over here and just uh, double check. If there's any areas like here that uh, prevent the door from fitting perfectly, then I can definitely come back and just uh, use my Dremel to clean up those edges. Okay, so I've double checked and my doors fit. So on this seam and the back seam under the jack and all the way down uh, past the bumper, I'm going to use a turnabond tape uh, to, to seal up those seams and then my trim will go over the top of that. All right, so I've got that last piece of the shoulder fiberglass up and uh, obviously I'll be sealing all of this from the skirt to the actual body of the camper and got the all the stainless steel fasteners uh, along the bottom of the uh, tub for the waste tanks and of course i'll be running a bead of sealant around all of that as well so next video will be probably putting that uh the rear jack assembly back together and installed on the camper uh, get the doors put on, uh, that bottom trim, because I've already put the phylon underneath the slide out, the new phylon, that's already on. So I can get that whole piece of trim put back on. Anyway, hopefully uh, you guys like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, and uh, that way you don't miss any of our future videos on <laughs> trying to get this old camper restored. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later.